Hello, my name is Andrea Nava, and today I will be informing you about the importance of proper oral hygiene. Improper oral hygiene can have more effects than just a simple toothache from a cavity. Many diseases can come from improper oral hygiene that you may ignore just because you think they have no relationship to your teeth. However, what you will come to learn is that oral hygiene can be the cause or prevention of many diseases. Although some of you may be thinking, I have good oral hygiene, I brush my teeth every day. Brushing your teeth every day isn't the only thing that makes oral hygiene good. Along with my extensive research on this topic, I have also been around several family members that work in the dental field. In researching this speech, from the article, Oral Health, a window to your overall health at mayoclinic.org by Mayo Clinic staff, I have learned that oral hygiene is directly proportional to our overall health, meaning that good oral hygiene more than likely means overall good health, whereas poor oral hygiene may mean some complications in your overall health. Today, I will inform you on the importance of oral hygiene the effects that improper oral hygiene could have, and an oral hygiene routine that may help you maintain proper oral health. Let's begin with getting to know the importance of proper oral hygiene. Now, our journey to dental visits is usually at the site of our very first tooth. I'm sure most of everyone knows what a dentist is, Though, as a reminder, dentists are doctors of oral health. They have practiced the skill of oral cleanings along with being licensed to diagnose any diseases found. The most known purpose of a dentist is the oral cleanings. Though, along with that, dentists both educate patients and do examinations for any infections or diseases in the mouth. When speaking about oral hygiene, I'm sure what comes to mind is brushing your teeth and cavities. Though oral hygiene is more than that, and proper oral hygiene prevents more than bad breath and cavities. Now that we've talked about proper oral hygiene, let's discuss the effects of improper oral hygiene. Most of us are aware that improper oral hygiene leads to cavities and sometimes discomfort in the gums. But did you know that improper oral hygiene could also have an effect on diseases or illnesses unrelated to the mouth? The article Importance of Oral Health in Comprehensive Healthcare at drugwatch.com Kristen Compton explains that heart diseases such as atherosclerosis and endocarditis could have possible relationships to our oral health. Atherosclerosis is when there is a buildup of plaque on the inside of your arteries, which limits the flow of oxygenated blood to your organs. Endocarditis is bacteria in the bloodstream which ends up spreading across the inner lining of your heart, causing it to be at risk for any infections. Gum disease leads to respiratory infections, such as pneumonia. Now, pneumonia is very well known, though I will still go ahead and refresh on it. Pneumonia is an infection inflaming the lungs which may let in fluids, causing painful coughs, fever, or difficulty breathing. The next effect contributes more to people with diabetes. With the complication of diabetes, any infections or open wounds, such as gum diseases, make it harder 
to control the sugar of those individuals. Now that we know multiple effects of improper oral hygiene, let's discuss a proper oral hygiene routine for you. I'm sure we are all taught to brush your teeth when we get up and before going to bed. But did you know there is more to that for your oral health? In article Oral Hygiene 101 at health.howstuffworks.com, the American Institute for Preventive Medicine explains that eating healthy is where it begins. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be every day of eating healthy, though it is best to stay away from sugary foods and junk foods to prevent cavities that lead to tooth decay. Now you see, not everyone may have the luxury of being able to go to the dentist. So if you do have that luxury of going, it is best to visit every six months, or in other words, one to two times a year. Lastly, try to keep a tight routine day and night of cleaning your teeth. First, beginning with brushing your teeth as normal, along with not forgetting to brush your tongue because that is where the bad breath comes from as well. Following that with some mouthwash or warm water to have a rinse. And finishing it up with flossing through as much possible teeth as you can. This should be done at least two times a day, maybe three times max. In conclusion, today I have spoken to you about the importance of oral hygiene, the effects of improper oral hygiene, and have gone over a proper oral health routine Proper oral hygiene does more than keeping your smile clean and confident. It is a way of making sure your overall health is not at risk for something bigger than the cavity, such as any of the diseases that were listed today.